Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi. This is my dog, Jake. Today is our 150th video. Woo, 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 150, 150, 150. Now I did think that my last video was actually the 150th, but it was not. It was 149. So imagine my disappointment but this is 150 we are at the halfway mark for 300 um so i just thought i would go over 15 little facts about me the first fact is that jake who has apparently got some tears today maybe a little allergies like his mom um jake is my favorite dog i've ever had and i've had dogs ever since i was a little 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 girl like two years old so, I've never had a dog I loved as much as this dog. Mm, he is sweet and adorable and playful and very well behaved because I spent a lot of time training him and I, we still work on it. So, I'm going to put him down because he doesn't really like to be held that much. <laughs> so, which is fine. I don't really like holding dogs that much. So, I like it better when he snuggles next to me which is what he prefers and is why one of the reasons why he's one of the best dogs I've ever had. Um, so here are 15, just we're gonna cross Jake off because we just did him. 14 more little facts about me just to celebrate my 150th video. If you are here, thank you for coming to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, you know that you're one of my favorites. Ignore this on the back. It's just an illustration I was doing for my grandson. Um, <clears throat> okay. The first rando fact about me is that I am 55 years old. There you go. I'm not afraid to say how old I am. I really love being in my 50s. I think that age is nothing but how many times you've been around the sun, and that's always worth celebrating. I'm actually one of those annoying people that celebrates their birthday all month long, so get ready for December. Ha, <laughs> ha, uh, I'm going to mark these off as I go so I know I've talked about them. Um, I come from a pretty big family. There are nine kids, and I have four brothers and four sisters. Um, those are split up between two marriages from my mom, though. So there's five in the first group and four in the second, and I'm the oldest of that second group. Trust me, there's a lot more stories to this than that, but we would be here forever. And you know what? Those stories don't just belong to me, and I don't feel like it's right for me to tell tales about my family when they don't have the opportunity to rebut that. And my recollection of things is my recollection of things. And so, you know, other people see it other ways. So that's just, there's really, I, I, there's plenty of funny, awesome stories to tell about my family. And if I come, if I think of any, I will do a story time video. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, you guys. How about we just pause for the next little thing. Shake up the coffee. Pour a tiny bit in the old cup of Rooney. And have a little sip. What do you say? If you want to go grab something, coffee or tea or something, I bought some chai today, so I'm going to have tea later tonight. I'm so excited. But right now it's coffee. Oh, and I love my little, I know I've showed it before, but I love my little unicorn um, thermos. It keeps my coffee piping hot for... It says it'll keep stuff hot for eight hours. That's bullshit. I'm going to say if it's completely full, it'll stay hot for about five or six hours, maybe. Especially if you wrap it up in something good so it stays even more insulated. But if you've poured some out, you've got two or three good hours before it starts to really get temperature dropping. A oh, bonus fact about me. I love my thermos. Okay. In the question of Star Trek versus... Star Wars, I love both, but I'm a full-on Trekkie. I have to fully admit that. I've loved Star Trek since I was a tiny, tiny child. Um, I know for a fact I started watching it when it first came out. My mom tells stories about it, or she used to. My mom is a bonus fact. My mom, my both my parents are dead. Bonus fact. 
That's not part of the 15. I just need another sip of this. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I prefer hot coffee. Do you prefer hot or cold coffee? Five, I will put a, a little hot or coffee, hot or cold. We'll do a little poll. We'll do a poll. And what's your favorite coffee? Tell me below. Okay, I absolutely am a huge Trekkie. I cannot get enough of it. But here's the thing for me personally, and again, these are all about me. This is not a comment on Star Trek. I really can only get into Star Trek if there's an Enterprise involved. I have a hard time with all the other ones. I just don't really like them that much. And if it's not the crew of the Enterprise, honestly, I just really don't care that much. I guess that makes me kind of a bitch. So be it. I am. I have two amazing daughters. They are great. There's nothing else to say about that. They are amazing. Um, but one of them is, a, is an awesome DJ in Las Vegas and the other one owns her own business. She's a landscaper. So my girls rock out loud. Um, oh, I also have four grandchildren, uh, amazing grandchildren. Um, one of them is so brand new. I don't really know her yet. She's only, she's like brand, brand new. But um, that's going to change soon because bonus fact, which I think I've mentioned already, chances are pretty good I'm moving to Las Vegas. I am a gamer since Pong. I love gaming. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do um, next to maybe gardening and uh, eating some pumpkin pie. I don't know. There, there are a few things that I absolutely love to do and one of those is put on a really awesome game and just lose myself in it. My favorite games, I have two, Resident Evil, World of Warcraft. I don't care if you come for me because those are my favorites. Tell me what your favorites are. There's no need to hate. We can all just appreciate, okay? You know how gamers are and I'm a girl game, a woman gamer. I don't like to call myself a girl, although I am female and girl applies. I love coffee. But I actually didn't start drinking coffee until my mid-30s. Um, I just really wasn't that into it. And I mean like maybe 37? So late 30s, I guess, really. I just really... And you can I can thank, directly thank Starbucks for my coffee addiction. Because first, I went there with a friend. She was getting coffee. I just got a hot chocolate because I didn't really drink coffee. And she goes, oh, next time get a mocha. It's just like hot chocolate, but it's coffee. And I'm like, oh, all right, I'll try it. I needed to add sugar because to me it wasn't so I could still taste coffee, but that was the point and I didn't get that, okay? But from there, I started adding less and less sugar because I wanted more and more of that coffee flavor. And then I was hooked and I bought a coffee maker and I stopped going to Starbucks because that shit is stupid expensive but I will admit fully I'm a, I'm a coffee snob um, I don't mm, I have certain things about coffee I like and you're either delivering them or you're not and I really am not about second chances with that shit so there's that um, I have five tattoos uh, most of them below, but one of them on my shoulder. And I would 100% go right now and get another one. I love tattoos. I have lived in California for 16 years. I love California. I was actually born in Illinois, but I have lived in nine states. Nine different states. So, mm, that's a lot. Let's count them down. Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Missouri, Kansas, Texas, New Mexico, Nevada, and California. And I've been to more states than that, of course, because like Utah and um, Oklahoma, and I've driven through a lot of states that I didn't really stop in because most of the trips I've taken have been road trips. And I even go on road trips by myself. I'm not afraid of that. Bonus fact. Um, <clears throat> oh, 
<laughs> I couldn't understand what I wrote. I'm sorry for the little pause. Um, maybe I should put doofus face, <laughs> like a doofus face emoji or something. I never, I have never left America. So as much as I would love to be a world traveler, that has not happened yet. But we are going to make that happen. So my only reticence about that is how much I love my dog. And I don't know who to trust to keep him. Because he and I are way too dependent on each other. So I need to work on that and start having like little sleepovers away with people before. Just the thought of him not being where I can keep an eye on him just sends me into a bit of a panic. He and I are probably not healthily dependent. Okay, my favorite color, which I've mentioned before, and is my... Like, it looks a little pink under this light, but it's actually, especially in here, purple. Um, it's purple. Secondary favorites are gray, orange, and teal. I love all of those colors, and they all, all of their relationships to purple. So, bring that on. So, those are all my favorite colors. Um, I 100% believe in the law of attraction not the fairy tale version of the law of attraction that you read about or see in the movie the secret where you see that little board boy just sitting in his bedroom dreaming about a bike and then his dad his grandpa brings on him a bike i do believe that you need to keep your mind focused on the things that you want but i don't believe that daydreaming gets you there it just strengthens your resolve and your attitude and i do believe attitude is everything and that's the law of attraction so honest and honestly i am a certified law of attraction coach so i i don't come at what i think about it without some background in it myself um and i do use it Here's the, here's the rub about it, though, and I recommend you look at Dr. Bruce Lipton for more information about what I'm going to say here. This is not, <laughs> this is not sponsored. I'm not, this is not a commercial for him. I just really enjoy his information, and the thing is, is that it's not just your conscious mind that is using the law of attraction. It's your subconscious mind, and that's where your programming is. So if you have been programmed to think that everything is scarce, it's going to take some work to figure it, to get it reprogrammed in your subconscious. There are ways that you can sort of shortcut that, and that's what he talks about. And I'm not endorsing any of those methods or ways. You have to do what works for you. And the things that resonate with you when you hear about them, those are the things that you should try. But don't close your mind to the other things. If one thing doesn't work, try something else, because... You know, there's, you can hypnotize yourself, you can do recordings while you fall asleep. It's not even all, it's not even a bunch of things you have to buy. There are, there are books you can buy to help you. I don't even think they're by Dr. Lipton, so he has his own books, I'm sure. But the law of attraction is just the way everything works. This is not going to be a video about that. We're going to move on to the final... I guess it's not even 15th because you had some bonus ones, but 15th fact about Gigi, my favorite movie is Aliens. That is the follow-up, or sequel rather, to the movie Alien. It's directed by James Cameron and stars the fabulous Sigourney Weaver. I absolutely love this movie. I can... <sighs> You don't want to watch this movie with me because I am obnoxious. I literally know all the lines. And if I'm paying attention to it, I'm at least mouthing them. I cannot help it. It's part of the way I enjoy movies. And this is why I don't always watch movies with a lot of people. Because I don't trust people to let me enjoy things the way I want to. And I don't want to infringe on the way that they enjoy things. So very frequently, if it's a movie I really love... It's a solitary experience for me. I don't watch movies with other people. Like V for Vendetta, that's another one of my personal faves. I can't watch that with other people because <sighs> V has got some of the best lines that have ever been uttered in movie history. And I'm just, that's it. Now, um, as a bonus fact, 
Aliens is my favorite movie, but I am also a huge Marvel fangirl. Um, I love all the movies um, to varying degrees, from all the way from Iron Man to the latest one, uh, Endgame. And I was going to say Judgment Day for some reason, which it sort of is, but it's Endgame. So um, there you go. That's a 15-minute video with 15 facts about me. Before we hit 16, I'm going to say goodbye. You guys have a wonderful day. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.